Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. The and this this idea, as I'm thinking about this, and I write this on Twitter this morning. I'm like, man, Stalin must be fucking laughing his ass off at how easy it I was. Mean, yeah. Now, they, granted, it was poor timing. In the last right? two poor years, timing. they have a landslide. Like they, they we have, have jumped right into their hoop. And now we're just hanging out but, inside the hoop. But they were they were on time on target, by the way, guys, because they really this thought, time. they yeah they really thought the Soviet Union, which honest to God, this is just Soviet Union light. I mean, Putin's just tried to to reinvigorate <laughs> Soviet Union it is. light. It is. It is. Yeah. That's what it is. Hey, no sugar, but we got aspartame. It's, in a, this it's, bitch. it's a it's a perfect blend. No, that makes sense. Of where you would say socialism but really we're just going to isolate it to the oligarchs and then there you go this is like we're just going to isolate all the wealth I mean, and power we're going to control yeah. everything distribute and things to the people that we like take away things that we don't ah, at the end of the day we got all the power years we yeah another 20 years of demasculizing the entire american populace weakening the military by creating risk adverse leaders and people that won't make decisions and then boom now we can fucking we can we can start parachuting into Wyoming and taking our fucking land that that's not they, fucking cold. No, they they don't they don't need to. They don't. <laughs> need Wyoming's to. pretty cold. They, they, they might start with the West Coast. They yeah. don't need to because they started planting the seeds generations ago within an ideology which ultimately they believed in and they knew it was going to take generations in order to implement. They stuck to it. Their timing was off. But if we think Russia is our friend. We just have to look back at the previous election and say, hmm, regardless of where you fall in party, they manipulated the fuck out of social media. They absolutely orchestrated probably one of the single largest information operations in the history of mankind. Absolutely. We fell directly into the trap. And the thing that I can't figure out is why in the fuck are people not talking about this? Like, why are we not... Jumping up and down, going, "Hey guys, like so." Because it's embarrassing. We get it. Evan. It's fucking super <laughs> it's embarrassing. Like you see your buddy trip on the other side of the room, and you pretend you didn't see it, so you don't have yeah. to deal with the shared embarrassment. And that's what people are doing in this country right now. They're just like, "Oh, I didn't see that. It's no big deal. Uh, it's just a conspiracy." I don't care where you <laughs> fall, man. Whether you were Democrat or Republican, a foreign country manipulating information, subgroups, and culture in order to cause chaos. Brother, that's that, I, that's, that's an act of war. That is an act of fucking war. And when you look at this dude and people fucking talk about Putin, oh, he's riding around on bears. What a cool motherfucker. It's like that guy is a socialist fucking pig that is trying to change the way the world thinks and implement a very strategic information war against us and has been since the day that guy fucking literally could speak, I would imagine. And the sooner but this we're country busy calling wakes up, Trump Nazis. <laughs> yeah, we're busy, but that's where they win. That's where they win. Yeah, yeah. Instead of us going, hey, hey the, real, <laughs> the real enemy is outside of the fucking borders of the United States and they are at war with you every day manipulating the platforms that you fucking spend all your precious time on, sucking away your minutes and taking away from your kids, your family, and actually issues that fucking matter. What you're doing is you're buying into a false narrative built by a foreign country that will ultimately cause you to hate another person within the borders of your country so they can cause you to vote a specific way and or not vote. The only thing they give a fuck about is chaos. And the sooner they wake up, the sooner we wake up, the better this fucking country will be. And I'll tell you what, I'm pissed off, man. I'm pissed off about it because it's not about Trump. It's not about Hillary. It's not about Bernie. It's not about any of these people. It's about check your facts. When you look at the news and the news cycle, it's clearly just about fucking traffic and eyeballs. We all know it. But fucking pick up a pick up a book, America. <clears throat> fucking read like something from two decades ago. Maybe flip a page or Amazon Fire or Kindle. I don't give a fuck. But people have to understand yeah. what the fuck they're doing. You like know, they really do. It's <laughs>